Happy Wednesday. Say happy Veterans Day. Thank you to all those who serve, so we are free. Say thank you to everybody that served to keep us free. Your straps are too loose if you can do that, buddy boy. I'm tightening those up. Um, anyways. What? I love you. I love you. What, what are you doing today? What are you doing? What are we waiting to go into right now? So it's Wednesday. We are waiting. What? Can't my makeup looks really bad in camera? Not as bad a person. Anyways, um, I we have school. J, the boys have school today. Um, I have a mom's group. Kind of a busy day. Um, while they're in school, I have mom's group. Then I'll pick up Joe um, after mom's group and get him some lunch. And then shortly after, I'll actually be picking up Jaden early from school because I have a work appointment that I need to go pick up one of my people for and it's kind of a long drive so I'm going to go and pick her up um, before traffic gets really bad here um, and then we have that and then we'll get home right before dinner I'll cook dinner Sam has a chiropractor appointment and then I will I do plasma tonight so Kind of a busy night. Why are you doing that with your straps? You better never ever do that when we're driving because if we get in a crash, those are what save you. Anyways, so as I was saying, today is Veterans Day. My hair is so frizzy, you guys. I can't handle it. Um. Today is Veterans Day, and I am so very thankful for all of those who have given their lives to serve. And I, when I say given their lives, not only like, you know, I know that Memorial Day is to celebrate, to like remember those who have passed away in the line of duty, but um, more so like the people that have served, given up their lives and the time of their lives and missing out on children's births and birthday parties and family holidays just so that we can be free, so that I can be drinking my Starbucks right now on the way to all of this. And raising my children the way that I think they should be raised and making decisions um, on my own. I mean, if you think about a different countries out there who is women, women are powerless. And I'm not because people have given up their lives. And I also am thankful and beyond thankful. I feel like the women or the spouses or the significant others of those um, families of those whose loved ones serves deserve just as much of a thank you because someone that I work with literally gave birth to their child via Skype for their significant other because they were across, you know, away. And I can't imagine that. Like, I cannot imagine doing this all by myself, knowing that my sp significant other is away and fighting for his life and for my life. And so hats off to you guys who fight the battles here of... Um, even if you don't have kids, but like dealing with everything and being alone and, um, or if you have kids, like being a, like basically single parent and the constant uprooting of your lives and moving to different cities wherever you get restationed and all of that. So super huge thanks to you guys and hats off to you because I fully recognize that if it wasn't without you guys, that my life would not be the way that it is. And I'm super thankful for you guys and I appreciate you more than I can put into words. So... Happy Veterans Day, guys. Happy Veterans Day. It is suddenly super dark outside. You can't actually tell this window makes it look lighter than it is. But it's super duper dark and pouring rain. It dropped down to 49 degrees. So it's like gross. However, this on this day last year, we had an epic snowstorm. Like 10 inches in Minnesota, which... When I say epic snowstorm, that's not like abnormal for Minnesota, but it was pretty big for it's going from like nice to like crazy amounts of snow. Like people were in the um, ditch 
and all over the place in this snow. So super thankful that it isn't snowing because I hate snow for lots of reasons, but one of the big ones is it makes my life really stressful. Because I have a lot of college students that schedules are very on top of each other, meaning that they allow themselves only like 15 minutes from when class gets out to when they're scheduled um, to work, and it takes 15 minutes to get there, so when there's any kind of slowdown or snow, they're late. Whenever there's rides, my, whenever it's snowing, the people that pick up my residents to bring them to their day, day jobs and stuff, um, they're always late. And so I have staff that have to leave before they're picked up, which means I have to be there. So I don't know how to come and make that work with Jaden in school. Um, it's always just super stressful and not so fun. And so I'm thankful for the rain. But I would have loved to not have rain today. Ooh. So I figured we would just vlog today. I just dropped Aiden off at school and we are headed to Target now real quick. I have a sitter coming at nine so I can get to some meetings. Um, but I realized that I stopped taking my goat's roux um, supplement that's increased, it like, not increases, well it kind of does. But it like promotes healthy milk production when you're nursing. And Judson's until eight months old and my goal is to nurse him till a year. Um, Jade and I lasted six months, and Jojo was ten months. Um, so Judson's eight months, and I would like to keep going. He loves nursing, and he hasn't been fussy at the breast or anything like that. Um, but I have noticed a significant decrease in his diapers. Like, this morning when he woke up, his diaper was barely wet versus soaking wet like it usually is. Um, and he did nurse a lot last night, so... Um, and he's just been a little bit more fussy lately and really, really clingy, like more than normal. Like he feels like he has to be with me. And so I wonder if he's just really hungry when we feed him his normal food, he like inhales it. So I just really feel like he's not getting enough. And I stopped taking, this has all been like the last like four days and I did stop taking my supplement about four days ago. So I'm assuming that's what it is. So I ordered more of it. Um, I can only really find it on Amazon for a uh, affordable price. So I'm waiting for that to come. It will probably be here until like Saturday. Um, but in the meantime, I don't have any milk pumped for him because they used it all this weekend. And I tried pumping the last couple days and it's not, I'm not getting anything. And the thing is, is that I was having that issue and then I bought new pump parts. I have the um, Freestyle. So... It has different parts than the pump and style, so you have to special order like all new parts and they're kind of expensive. And so I ordered those and I was pumping so great. And now nothing's coming out. So I'm probably not really producing much milk for the kiddo anyways. So now we're going to Target real quick to get some formula so that he has something to drink today and a few baby food items and then I need to get back because my sitter will be coming and she'll probably be me actually. And go from there. It's gross. It's 40 degrees. It's wet. It's cold. It's damp, but it's not snowing, so I will take it. I have meetings all day today, so nah. So I'm sitting at a coffee shop waiting for my staff to show up for a review. It is now 7.30 and she's supposed to be here at 6.45. We finally got a hold of her and she's like, ha ha ha. This was on my calendar and I totally forgot about it. Do you want me to come now? And I'm like, well, no, because I have another review at 7.45 scheduled. But, like, I don't enjoy being away from my family at night if I don't have to. And so I was kind of bummed that she totally spaced off an important review with her boss and thought it was funny. I don't know if she, like, nervous laughs or what. 
I'm drinking some decaf coffee. I um, haven't been home long enough to eat today and I didn't bring any food with me enough and I ran out of food and I was hungry and the only thing I had time to stop for because I thought my staff was going to be on time was Burger King so I got a Whopper Jr. without the bun, the mayo, or the onion so I literally got a piece of a small piece of meat with some lettuce, tomato, and pickles so that I can eat the rest of what I need to eat of my lean and green at home took everything in me not to get fries and the only reason I didn't give in and get fries is that a small Burger King fry is 49 grams of carbs. That's almost half of what I eat in a day. For like six fries. It's not worth it. So anyways, waiting for my other staff. Bored out of my mind and my phone only has like 40%. I didn't bring my computer because I didn't think I'd have time. I did just go and donate plasma before this. And yeah, roll exciting. Tomorrow's Friday, work in the morning, and then I'm gonna take the rest of the day off. So I work on Saturday. Um, and my brother's coming over tomorrow night to play video games with his wife, my middle my youngest brother at the middle one, the middle ones I have is not close by. So, yeah. Really exciting life, huh? I don't know if I ever told you guys, but I started doing like Metafast-centered videos on um, a different channel. It's um, my actual Naptime Blitz channel. So I believe if you go to youtube.com slash Naptime Blitz, it brings you to my, to my channel. Um, Originally, this channel you're watching this video on, I started for Metafast. My other one was going to be my mommy channel, but then I had more followers on this channel already, and so I kept turning it into my blog channel. So now I'm starting Metafast again. So check that out. I am posting a four week um, meltdown challenge. It starts on the 16th of November, and what it is is that you pay $22.99 to join and you lose four percent of your body weight or maintain depending on the goal you are selected for or you select um, as long as you do that then you get to keep your money plus split the pot right now there's literally sixty two thousand dollars or maybe it's sixty two hundred i could be wrong it's probably sixty two hundred not sixty two thousand for some reason i read sixty two thousand it's probably like sixty two hundred and then you split that pot with the people who actually won and it never fails there are people that don't make their goals but wouldn't you rather be um, losing weight versus gaining weight during the holiday season? And if money's involved, it like motivates you more. You don't have to be doing that if it's any kind of diet. It's just a meltdown challenge. So let me know if you're interested. I'll send you the link. Um, you need to be signed up and ready to go on the 16th. So that's in four more.